Okay, so I'm getting ready for the Malaysian Women's Weekly's Great Women of Our Time event and I don't want to look like I just woke out of bed, which I just did. So I'm going to put on some makeup and I'm so excited to get started. I need to look alive, not dead. So here, a little bit of the cream concealer. What do I do? Make these dark circles go away just like that. Now I look alive. Okay, wonderful. Awake, pop. I think eyebrows show a form of respect and I want to be awake and say hello to everybody. So, they always told me that I had no tails so I have to draw in my tails. And I do this brush look because it's really natural. Sometimes people when they draw eyebrows they're like really angry. Oopsies. I'm not angry. I'm happy. One done, one to go. I like using like a soft brown because sometimes when you make them a little too dark, it looks like you did a sharpie on your eyes and then you look permanently angry. Everyone's into this whole Korean phase of making your eyebrows straight, but then you just don't really emote. <laughs> I'm Chinese. I feel like my face is a little flatter than most people. So I try to make sure that I have a little bit of shadows. This helped in fashion school to have an idea of some shapes. Don't worry, you just blend this a little bit more. But it gives the illusion that I've got cheekbones. Not all people were created equally, but I will try to make it as equal as I can. And a little bit on my eyes as well, just to create some shadow. And I've just taken um, a color. They've got these duotone colors from Elizabeth Arden. And this is Cafe Ole. Use this brush and blend a little bit more. Because finger painting isn't always so clean. Are you starting to see the shape? I'm trying. <laughs> Blush. Everybody says they want pink in their cheeks, but I say I want peach because I like peaches. And it goes really well with my skin tone. It doesn't make it too pinkish, but it gives me a little bit of color to let people know that I'm alive. Okay, so this is what I call base. 24 hour bold defining eyeliner. The trickiest part is trying to draw it even. Oops, it's not as easy when you don't have even eyes. <laughs> it's a little bit bigger on one side now. Don't forget to do the other eye. Okay, just gonna do a lighter color in the front. I realize that makeup is a lot like painting. So if you have an understanding of light and darkness, it's great. If not, it sucks for you because you're gonna end up looking the same all the time. But people always ask me, you know, if I can do really good makeup, but actually I think I just stick to the same thing, but I just play with some color. So I try to give it a little bit of depth so you can see some lightness. And then a little bit of the darkness. And different people have different things to say about using your fingers when you're doing your makeup, but I think you have the most control. Like photoshopping with your finger. <laughs> okay, so after the eyeliner, what I usually like to do is I like to line it a little more with a brush and I do it on the inside. And then you do a little bit on the bottom so it doesn't get left out. Because it's not fair, the top always gets all the attention. I usually don't talk like this to myself. <laughs> They always try to add a little bit of that sparkle right underneath. And so it just makes your eyes pop just a little bit more. Luscious raspberry. Oh wow. I'm loving this pigment. You gotta make those lips bigger, you know. I want those fish lips. This beautiful color is gonna go so well with my dress. Hang it at the back. Final touch, mascara. This is usually when you know that I've put in full effort because I decided to wear mascara. 
I have like no lashes, but this mascara is called Grand Entrance and that is what I'm about to do. And once again, let's not leave out our friends on the bottom. Okay, here we go. Thanks for hanging out with me. Ha, ha, ha.